In this video, I will show you how to use the mod installer. This is the OpenIV Offline program. This is an old version, it works without internet. OpenIV Offline is an alternative if the new version of OpenIV doesn't work. Therefore, now I will tell you how to install mods in GTA 5 using the OpenIV Offline program. In this video you will learn how to install OIV mods, they are with automatic installation. I will also show you how to install add-on mods, with the DLC.RPF archive and the third type of mods are regular files and mods that need to be installed through the OpenIV program. The way to install these mods in the OpenIV offline program is different from the installation in the new version of the OpenIV program. First you need to install the OpenIV offline program. You don't need internet to install it. After downloading the OpenIV offline program, open the downloaded archive. After that, open the folder. In the folder you need to find the installer and unpack it. After that, run the installer and install the OpenIV offline program. We select the language, the installation path does not need to be changed. We accept the terms of the program and install it. Next, launch the shortcut on the desktop, select Windows. Specify the path to the GTA 5 game folder and click continue. After that, the program starts. At the top, you need to enable the edit mode button, because if it is disabled then we will not be able to install mods. After that, go to the tools section and select ACI manager. Here you need to install everything. After that, you can close this window. Now you can start installing mods. To install OIV mods with automatic installation, you need to go to the tools section. After that, select the package installer. Next, go to the folder where the OIV mod is located. Select it and click open. After that, the OIV mod will start installing, or a window will appear in which you need to click install the mod in the mods folder and confirm the installation. After installation, the installation window can be closed. OIV mod successfully installed. I installed the graphics mod and after launching the game it works successfully. Most graphics mods are installed this way. To install the add-on mod, you need to open the downloaded archive of the mod. We are looking for a text file in the archive and open it. You need to find a line in a text file. You need to copy it to Delclist. Copy a line from a text document. After that, you need to go to the OpenIV program and enable the edit mode button. After that, open the update folder. Open the update.rpf archive. Click on the first button, copy to the mods folder or show in the mods folder. Open the common folder and open the data folder. In this folder, we are looking for the delclist. After that, press the right mouse button and click edit. Go to the very bottom and copy the line from the add-on text file of the mod there. After that, click save. But if you can't find a text document then just make a new line with the name of the mod folder that contains the dlc.rpf file. Because some modders don't create text documents with string names. After that, you need to install the folder with the dlc.rpf file. To do this, select the update folder in the OpenIV program. It is located after the mods folder. In this folder, you need to create a new folder and name it x64. If you already have this folder, then you do not need to create it again. After that, go to the created x64 folder and in this folder create another folder called Dilkpax. We open it. Add-on mods are installed in this Dilkpax folder. Therefore, we return to our archive with the mod and look in the archive for the folder in which the dlc.rpf file is located. Copy the name of this folder and return to the OpenIV program. In the open Dilkpax folder, create a new folder. Paste the name of the folder that we copied. The name of the add-on mod folder. After that, open this folder and open the folder in the archive. Copy the dlc.rpf archive to the OpenIV program. To this new folder. And that's it, add-on mod has been successfully installed. After starting the game, in order to spawn the add-on mod, 
You need to enter in the trainer the name of the folder that we created in the DLC packs folder, in which the DLC.RPF archive is located. After that, the add-on mod will spawn and work. And the third way to install mods in the OpenIV program is mods of other formats. For example XML. This is the game config file and is needed for most add-on mods to work. To install mods of this format, you need to go to the OpenIV program and enable the edit mode button. Next, go to the installation path and simply transfer the mod. It will copy successfully. These mods are installed only in this way. This video is relevant if the new version of the OpenIV program does not work. The new version is better, but the old version is stable. Therefore, I wrote down this installation instruction in this program. Also, if for some reason it is not installed or does not work for you, then first remove the extra files from the old program. They are in this installation path. And after that, this version of the program will work. But if the new version works for you, then it's better to stay on the new version, or just install the new version if it works again. That's all, if you like the video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.